Hi, this is Mike with Tractor Mike Q&A. Had a question from Will, and Will is getting ready to move from Sugarland, Texas to Tulsa. And I've been around Tulsa a lot, like this city, uh, this summer uh, after the kids are out of school. And he's looking for something with three to five acres of land. And he says, I enjoy, I enjoy mowing and uh, would like a larger garden. Uh, he's had a four foot by four foot garden in the city and he wants to expand that. And he says, with all this in mind, what three tractors would you consider and the three best attachments to purchase? And he's been shopping online. He would like to find one with a cab, so it's nice to operate in extreme weather. Um, Will, I'm going to talk today about tractor selection. If I'm under five acres of land, um, I'm probably okay with a five-foot brush hog to, to keep it clean. If I'm over five acres, especially over 10 acres, I want a six foot because five foot you're going to be driving around and around and around that field forever. So with five acres, you'd be fine with a, a 28 to 38 horsepower compact tractor and a five foot brush hog and, and loader on the tractor. And then I would recommend a tiller uh, for your garden. So that, those are your, your implements you need. Now let's talk about these smaller tractors. Once you put a cab on a tractor, that kind of changes the dynamics. A, a cab on a tractor will take probably at least five and maybe up to 10 horsepower to power the air conditioner. So when you take a, a, a very small cab tractor, and I think there's 35 to 38 horsepower cab tractors available on the market, when you take that 10 horsepower out of the uh, equation, uh, you could starve a little bit for horsepower when you're, when you're cutting tall weeds in the summer and running the air conditioner. So there, there's kind of limited demand for that size tractor. Uh, my experience when I was in the dealership world, if you traded for something like that, uh, you'd sit on it a long time before you'd sell it. It's, it's really too small for most people, but the right buyer, uh, you could sell it. But have, I, I'm saying all that to tell you, you might find a bargain on one out there, uh, like a 38 horsepower cab tractor uh, that, that's been sitting around on a dealer's lot for a while and he'll just cut the margin and, and sell it to you at cost or below to get rid of it. Uh, that's a possibility. The problem with that is when you try to trade it or you want to sell it or trade up to a bigger one or you get more property, uh, you're going to take a bath on resale value on that. So, so that's the problem with the small tractors. It'll do everything you need it to do on three to five acres. Um, and if you're, if you're starving for horsepower, uh, just take a smaller swath with your, your cutter and you, you probably would be fine. But if you're looking at long term and resale value, it's way overkill, but uh, at least a 40 and, and 50 up is better. Those tractors have great resale value and, uh, and hold their value well. So if you buy a little tractor, make sure you get a deal on it. If you buy a bigger tractor, you'll be fine to resell it. And, and again, that may vary a little bit from different parts of the country, but that's how it is where I live. Thanks for watching.